Hey everyone, welcome back to another infamous swoosh reaction video as I've already done the last video of the strange school stories as I mentioned it before that was happened in the last one but as I mentioned it before um, this time as I've already done a reaction for the Demented Dogs from Brody Animates now I wanted to see what infamous swoosh has to say right now um, this is called Insane Dog and with that being said is, um, sometimes, um, unlike the, the Demented Dogs, these dogs are definitely insane. But all that happens now, I think we do have a problem. So I'm going to definitely uh, start reacting to this video now. <coughs> Wait, is that your PJs? <coughs> what is that? Copper? What are you doing? It's four in the morning. Oh my god. Copper is, your, is the name? Uh, what? <laughs> Go give me an energy drink. You don't drink energy drink. How could you? Is that what your job does? Stay up at, late at night and up at up the four in the morning? I mean, are you seriously letting me down for this now? Really? What? The, we really gotta talk about your attitude problem, man. Oh my god! You are you are totally doing this to me every time now. How insane are you? Are just like the last video, turds, leaks, unbelievable. I can't I can't do it anymore. Teenagers. Okay, I understand I'm hopping on the making a video about my dog bandwagon, but look, I've wanted to update you guys on this little goober for like a year, but Brody just executed it before me. But who cares about that? Yes, I know that one. I, that's the last video I definitely reacted to, so that is got to be the one right here. I have to note that, for real. That guy's dog's or Bryson's dog, when clearly we know the best one. B uh, my dog. Ew! Don't do this! It worked, really? I think you got, you got a problem with that one. How disgusting are you? Jeez. I don't like peas in here. They smell bad. Like you're urinating it. If you didn't pick up on that. In case you're new, let me bring you up to speed. This is my dog, Copper. Hey, everyone. What? Uh, what? what the? My family adopted Copper at the end of 2022, and for almost two whole... What? Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I just see some word down here. Wait. Ooh, wait a second. It says... I don't know if you guys can see it. It, it says here, uh, 2021. I don't know how I forgot that, but sorry, Copper. That that was actually 2021? I thought it was 2022, but now you completely messed that one up. You have to go back and fix it again. Every time you do this, I mean, this is nothing going to happen. For almost two whole years, it's been smooth sailing. For the most part, Copper has mm. changed a lot in the last two years. He's no longer a puppy, he's developed more of a personality, and he's even been sober from drawing gloves for 625 days now. And because of this change and growth, I've got a lot more to say about him. I mean, what do you got to say about that? One of the many things Copper has picked up as of late is his absolute hatred for our mailman. Real original, buddy. We have a little mail slot by our front door with a basket under it so the mailman can just plop it on in there. Bing, bang, boom, job's done. But Copper, unfortunately, has the very bad habit of every time he so much as hears what he thinks is the mailman, he starts barking uncontrollably, runs over to said mail slot, rips the mail out of our poor mailman's hand, and starts violently tearing it apart. Oh my gosh. So that's what happened right now? He's like already like an insane dog going everywhere? I mean, I've always expected what's going on. I think the last one I heard about it was a demented dog way. From Shelby. I mean, if he does that one so many times, he or she. I don't know if you guys got it. I got it right anyway, but I'm not dealing with this. Copper, no. You can't just rip up mail all the time. Oh, yeah. See, he just, he could definitely do it dirty. He's insane. Jury duty. What the heck are you up to? Okay, this one you can rip up. That's not the only rocky relationship Copper has in his life. On top of Joe the Mailman, I made that name up. There is also Squirrel. What? What do you mean there's a squirrel? You could talk like that? No, no, no. That's not really, really true. Don't do this. What do you mean you don't want me to talk about the squirrel? He's an integral part to your character development. Talk about a super sweet browser that everyone should download? I mean, off the top of my head, this video was sponsored by Opera. Oh my gosh, all that thing that has to go with Opera, just like the Brody anime does that in any way. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and just go fast forward, so I'll talk about it uh, for the next one. Keep me popping and checking, God, I gotta represent, Lord, I gotta represent. Instead of dropping to the level, I keep copping all the jets. Stay on top of all the rest, they ain't hot like even Ness. I 
I'm actually just did not even notice how he's handsome right now, but I think he used to have to do the same thing. But I mean, gotta give that credit to that. Can't sweat it with these haters cause they know that I'm the best. I ain't stopping for a step. Lord, I gotta represent. Instead of dropping to their level, I keep copping all the checks. Stay on top of all the rest. Yeah, I guess you, it's now back to that. You gonna let me talk about the squirrel now? Yep, okay. One Christmas, I gifted my mother with a bird feeder. I'm such a good son, I know. Mom, if you're watching this, please boost my allowance that I don't have. Okay, oh great. Okay, well I definitely think you would be happy enough to do that there, Mr. Nathan. <laughs> it's all what you can't do. Now this bird feeder is reflective, meaning any bird that comes for a nice little snack can't see us stalking him inside and inevitably posting him on social media. But unfortunately, this bird feeder has also brought in some enemies for my fluffy little chum. For over a year, a squirrel has been coming into the bird feeder and eating what is rightfully not his. And Copper has a built-in hatred for the squirrel. Oh, uh, this is why I just don't like about that, that squirrels coming up to that house and already, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's really bad. Very bad idea. And I think he knows it because he tortures him almost every day. You see, the bird feeder is in our kitchen and a gate blocks off our dining room from our kitchen because Copper is a big fat freak and can't be trusted. So Copper can still see the squirrel in the bird feeder every day, but can't reach him. So on any given day, I will be working in my room when I suddenly hear, Uh, really? Ah, uh, old faithful. Okay, buddy, let's go get him. I usually open the gate and Copper carefully tiptoes over to the door and I let him loose. But he has never once caught the squirrel. The squirrel has a perfect record, if you will. Really? I think squirrels are smart, they just run away freely. That's it. Why, you may ask? Well, the gate isn't the only obstacle. There's also our deck. You see, the stairs to our deck are on the opposite side of the bird feeder, meaning Copper has to run down the stairs and around the deck just to even get close to the squirrel. But unfortunately, the squirrel has already heard the door open and by then is long gone. To this day, Copper has mm. not given up, and I don't think he ever will. He's come close a couple times to reaching the squirrel, but alas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, figures. Until we build another staircase, that squirrel lives to see another day. Aw, oh, buddy, why the long face? Did he get away again? <laughs> yeah, I just don't know if we'll ever catch him, Dad. <laughs> okay, you're going to catch him one day and save our family from his evil deeds. You just have to believe in yourself. No, do you really believe that? No. One thing- Why? Why? No, no, no. Please don't let this happen now. <laughs> With Copper is that he's extremely fluffy. So occasionally, as time progresses, some people forget to brush him. So he gets matted, which basically means his fur is all clumped together and messed up, so he needs to get shaved. Which, unfortunately for us, means that for the coming months, Copper looks like a complete and utter rat. Ugh, yeah, it's the same thing I know of. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that one anyway, but that's a, that's a comparison, just like the other dog does. I mean, at times, it doesn't even look like he's the same dog. Yeah, he's not really the same. Look at this guy. Oh! Oh my god, I, I can't watch that anymore. Oh my god, that is really bad. If you already watched the uh, Demented Dogs in my reaction, you I suggest you should go uh, go up ahead to click the calling card, and that will take you to the next video. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much what I have to go with. So yeah, do it now, if you can. If not, you missed it. Too bad. Like, it looks like we invited a sleep paralysis demon to come live with us rent-free. And we already have one of those. Nah. It also doesn't help that because of Copper's human eyes paired with the shaved exterior and long legs, he just looks scary. So sc Why scary? Is it really like uh, a big thing that's coming up to you? I mean, like spiders, almost? Scary, in fact, that we've had multiple people mention to us that Copper looks like a skinwalker. Do you ever think Copper could be a skinwalker? You mean an ancient witch that can disguise themselves as a living animal? Oh, no, don't do this to me. I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. Trust me. Oh, ho, ho. oh boy. Yeah, I mean, that would be like, oh, no. But I got lucky. To me, that claim is not as far-fetched as you think. There was this one time where Copper literally figured out how to open our fence gate outside, so my dad had to raise the doorknob so he wouldn't escape. Where did you adopt him from again? Moving on, as Copper has gotten older, he's become way more attached to us when we're in the house. So every time one of us sits down on our couch, Copper grabs a toy, leaps up onto the couch, then immediately flops down on our lap. Yes, I mean, I was noticing that point. I mean, I can't even say what it is now, but it's like a toy, like at the end of the video. He does this so much that when we're feeling extra silly, we call him Copper the Flopper. Copper the Flopper? Why did you call that? I mean, he lives up to the name. Another name we've given him- Oh, okay, all right. I didn't- I thought there was gonna be more information. Him is- Copper! No! Stop eating that! Ew! Gross now! <laughs> okay! <laughs> oh, no. Please make it stop. Okay, I made that up, but that might as well be his name. Oh, yeah, you did it again. Ha! <laughs> Lol. 
I'm gonna touch on a subject that I mentioned in the last copper video, and it's that copper eats everything. Especially new toys that we give them. Every time we get copper any sort of toy, expect that thing to be destroyed within the same week. Oh man, he's like a little, like a little rascal dog. Hey, where did the head of Copper's new teddy bear go? He ate it! He fully digested and pooped it out, Dad. It was horrible. You should have seen it. The agony. <laughs> oh, no. I can still hear the screaming. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I just burped. I ate the dog. No, the, the, uh, the puppy thing with the new bear. I ate it! It's my fault! Please hurt back me! <laughs> and it's gross, but I love bird loudness. No, I'm serious. It's now gotten to the point where we rarely buy him new toys. Meaning the only toys Copper really has are those giant inflatable tennis balls that he can never really destroy, and strings left over from rope toys. And the thing is, he still gets really excited about playing with a disheveled shell of what the rope toy used to look like. You wanna play? You want the toy? You wanna play? Okay, give me some! Go get it! Yippee! I know- <laughs> That's nothing. Why? Another thing Copper likes to eat is trash. In our yeah, yeah, that is definitely gross. In our bathroom, we have a little garbage can next to the sink with a foot pedal on it. And now Copper knows how to open it somehow? He understands that he needs to step on the pedal and all the disgusting tissues and God knows what else is now up for grabs. Oh gosh, I mean, I don't know what to say right now, but... Oh, please help me with all that clean stuff. I need some uh, house clean ladies to cover the floor and then try to, like, make it clean for the bathroom to use. Luckily, he's potty trained because he's never allowed in the bathroom. One night, I accidentally fell asleep on the couch and woke up at 1 a.m. to copper whining in my face to go pee. I really? That's what uh, that's what I was considering of of the babies too. I mean, if something happens, I mean, gotta go change the diapers. I mean, they do that. But if the dog goes up to it, I mean, this is a little bit different. I'm not I'm not kidding, but this doesn't really happen to most people who have dogs. Seriously, I mean, I have no other. No other choice what to say, but this can't be real. Not at all. I tiredly got up because I'm a good father, dang it. And as I was walking to the dining room gate, I realized my bedroom door was wide open. A dreadful sight I've seen too many times. I sleepily peeked into my room and saw that Copper got in and completely ripped open the trash bag that was in there. And after all the years of catching Copper with used tissues and cardboard in his mouth, instead of instantly being fueled with rage after seeing this terrible mess, I looked over and this little guy did not have a single care in the world and was just so excited to go outside and pee. Oh, this is definitely the worst thing in their life. I let out a long sigh and let him go. I then proceeded to pick up all the trash while Copper was outside enjoying his midnight bathroom sesh. All right, now we're gonna do some yeah. lightning round Copper facts. Okay, what it is now? I mean, let's talk about the facts. My dad had to build an extension to our dining room gate because Copper would literally jump over it. Copper expects food every time we eat because my mom would let him lick her yogurt cup when she was done with it. He sometimes sits far away staring into your soul as you eat because he wants some. Copper loves chewing on ice. When we ask him if he wants ice, he gets really excited. Copper oh, loves to jump, so when people come over, he tries to jump up and lick their faces while they're standing there. Every time someone in my family comes home, Copper gets so excited he needs to put something in his mouth before he greets us. When Copper was a puppy, we used to have him wear harnesses every day until he destroyed four of them. Really? So that's what happened with your dog, huh? Is that for real? So we stopped. Copper has run away on a few occasions and almost died. What? 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 You, 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 Nate? Mr. Swoosh? He almost died? Don't let him go away. Okay, one of those I'll tell. One day, me and my sister decided to bring Copper out to our aunt and uncle's house to play. They have a ton of land, so any trip out there was like an infinite, boundless grass paradise to Copper. They weren't home, but they were cool with us coming over, so we packed Copper's toys and leash and brought him over. While we were there, we took Copper off the leash and he was running around with joy and glee without a care in the world. After over an hour of playing and running, me and my sister decided it was time to pack it up and go home. Unfortunately, Copper did not feel the same way. Every time we would approach him with a big old grin on our faces to leash him up, he did not want to go and kept packing up. Oh, so looks like your dog is really wanting to like, it's just enjoy the lifetime. I mean, I don't know what you're going to do now. I mean, you just got to like, let it go for some reason. But I just definitely don't want him to demand anybody like Brody does. It eventually got to the point where he just booked it into the woods and we had to chase after him. Luckily, we always come prepared. We had this collar at the time that came with a remote. We would press a button and Copper would hear a loud beep on oh. the collar and come over to us. So nothing to worry about. We were safe. We left it at home. Yeah, we... We didn't bring it that day. Really? Why? Is that... You know, that's not even happening, right? 
So here I am running around my aunt's neighbor's backyard chasing my dog. He would not stop running away from us. And I oh geez, yeah. I mean, I, I, I couldn't say anything, but that's all you can't care for anybody. You know, you don't want to let him live for your life. With that crazy dog all over the backyard and everything. It's not gonna make a change out of it with the worst. I'm sure to him it was hilarious. Every time we got close to him, he would just book it. At one point, we were actually at the front door of this old lady's house, and she was just watching TV and didn't even know we were outside on her front lawn chasing copper. Uh, this just did. We're getting reports that two idiots could be chasing a dog in your neighborhood. Just be on the watch for that, guys. Copper then ran into the open country road and was still running from us. And other neighbors were on the road too with their dog. And Copper and him were freaking out. The neighbors even tried coaxing him with bacon. Yet every time we got a little bit close to Copper, he still ran away. Eventually, we finally got him. Oh, that's good. I mean, how long did it take? After 30 minutes of chasing Copper around my aunt's country neighborhood, we put him in the car and brought him home. Oh, I thought that was like a little longer than I expected. I thought 30 minutes was like very long. Like, unbelievable. I mean, that was what happened right now. I thought it was just like uh, like 15 minutes short. I mean, who could who in the world could know? Nobody. So that was fun. Take me home. Throughout all. The <laughs> yeah, I want to go home. The craziness, the mail ripping, toy killing, squirrel chasing, trash eating adventures, Copper is still a really great dog. And he really loves and cares about all of us. Being totally vulnerable here, there was one day where I was having a pretty hard time and was crying on my couch. It was only me and Copper at home. He jumped onto the couch and started licking my tears away. And that's exactly what I needed. Uh. Not someone licking my face. No, that was still gross. Please, please, please don't do that. Yeah, don't do that at all. Please. To anyone. But Copper's showing that he was there for me. So thanks, buddy, for everything. And if you go into my room again, I'm seriously going to sell you on eBay. I would never just let him sell on eBay. But actually, I would say it's like, if they, if you, someone has it has you, if you really love your dogs, I mean, just tell them everything about it. I mean, I'm really happy enough to make someone ha like proud of himself. I mean, got to give it all the credit. And that's it. Thanks for joining us for this reaction video of the insane dog. And here are the others. Thanks to the team. Amazing support. Hey everyone, uh, I have not recorded an end card in a very long time, but I will make it quick. Thank you to everyone who worked on this video. Life has been crazy for me the last couple months, so thank you to God for keeping me sane and my team for pushing me through production on this video. Please check all of them out. They all worked extremely hard on this video. We aren't there just yet at the time of recording this, but I will thank you anyway. Thank you so, so much for 1 million subscribers. Oh, thank you so much for that. I mean, oh, wow. I mean... I just gotta say, it's like a infamous swoosh. I mean, I've gotta take a quicker look anyway. So yeah, I mean, congrats there, swoosh. I mean, for 1 million subscribers, I mean, this is amazing. Not for that, but thanks to Sean Does Magic, he finally made it to 10 million subscribers. So thank you so much, all of you, for subscribing to Sean. Now he's gonna definitely get a plaque. Oh yes, he does. So I would definitely always believe on him with everything he has to cover for. You guys are amazing. Shout out to you all who have subscribed to Sean Does Magic and subscribing it to Infamous Swoosh for making 1 million subscribers. You are all amazing. In the meantime, I guess that's pretty much it. Anything else to say? If you were to tell little Nathan about this eight years ago, I don't think he would believe you. Make sure to check out the merch store. We have some exciting stuff coming this summer. And I'll see you guys at VidCon to those who are going. And uh, I don't know. I mean, are you going to be at Baltimore? Because I definitely wanted to take some break and then head back to 2025. I'm thinking I probably want to go back until next year in 2025. So I bet that VidCon Baltimore, I think I want to go back there again. I'll probably might be seeing you if you're in the list. So... I'll keep my, uh, my fingers crossed anyway. So with that, I guess that's pretty much everything. And if you are going, I pray you have a wonderful summer anyway. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to Anaheim, but and I'm not going to Baltimore for this year. So I feel like I want to save some a little bit more money. And also I want to, like, enjoy myself in a lifetime. So that being said is I want to work on my own videos. So if you enjoyed this one, please don't forget to check out uh, Infamous Solution News channel. Um, for those of you who haven't subscribed, I would say so now. Yeah, that's all with that. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video of my reaction. And they thankfully that he definitely had made it to a million subscribers, so hooray for that. <laughs> and also definitely hooray to Sean Does Magic, who's reaching up to 10,000 subscribers to 10 million subscribers. I mean, 
what do you know? What do you always expect to say? He, he got a plaque already, so he done a great. But hey, I'll tell you what right now. If you are able to get to 10 million subscribers, I would say you're probably rich for winning the whole thing with money. <laughs> Just kidding. I know I always do that every time. But as I mentioned to say before, if you like the video, you might want to check out other reaction videos in my playlist section for Son of Beast. And if you are still into Chris Sonic Guy, yes, I know. I know you really like it, but why do you always expect it want to uh, just watch it over again? Maybe I'll have to remake that. Well, anyway, as I mentioned it before, if you like this video, please don't forget to share it with your friends who have already liked this video for any funny stories, or if you definitely like to take a closer look at in between for the, their channels, you can definitely watch it in between of their channels. They're still here. I mean, they won't be gone anyway. And in that moment, I have a next video coming up. So that will be the next line. First, it's the 3EE4 for the reaction of you know the name. Webs for Evs, I mean, that's what Griffin's doing. And finally, for the first time ever, I'm about to present to you the Tiny Taco Tales from Fusion Animations. So it's that part to be the great support to do for our next video for my milestone to keep working on. And if you really are, have subscribed to my channel, thank you all so much. Let's keep reaching to 1,000 subscribers because it's a long way down and I'm hoping to beg here for more viewers to get this. But I'm begging you right now, I'll have a bad to say. I'll be really sad if this video gets no likes. <laughs> but just do your best as you can. If you like this video, please. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, that should be it for now. Thank you for watching and peace out, folks, for a while as the insane dog dial. As you already may have noticed before, I am really insane, so I'm driving nuts everywhere. <laughs> uh, don't question me. Anyway, Son of Beast is out of here. Be sure to follow me on my social medias. And definitely, if you have anything else to say, leave a comment down below. And speaking of which, I'll be doing Best Investors. That will be the next one on its way soon. So keep your eyes on that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. And by the way, your dog is driving insane right now. And your dog is throwing up. So you might want to check him again. Sorry. Okay, bye. Somebody will.